Hello folks, it's Matt Smith. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. So today we're talking a little bit about tank safety and in particular the handling of ammunition whilst in the turret. Now this particular tank safety video is in relation to the M1A1 Abrams and the 120mm smoothbore main gun. Now ammunition is a temperamental beast. Sometimes it just doesn't like to fire. That can be up to a multitude of different factors. This is what's known as a misfire. Basically when the gunner depresses the firing trigger or the master blaster handle which you can see in the bottom left here the main gun round just will not go down the tube as I said, this can be down to a multitude of factors, but a misfire is extremely dangerous, obviously for the crew inside, because potentially it can detonate within the breach itself, which is a very rare occurrence. More in terms of safety is regards to if it was in a combat environment. When you depress the trigger, you want the round to go down range and engage that target. Having ammunition that is not doing so can cause a lot of issues in terms of timing and risk to the tank. So dealing with a misfire isn't just an inconvenience, it can be an extremely dangerous situation if you are in a battle situation. Now it is up to the responsibility of both the loader, gunner and commander as a three-man team of the four-man crew to deal with this particular situation. Primarily it is going to be between the gunner and loader who are going to operate the system in place to make sure that a misfire is handled correctly. In this video we're going to discuss the systems that are put in place and the kind of safety features that the main gun has on the M1 Abrams to allow the crew to deal with a misfire if it comes to be. Of course no crew wants to have to deal with this situation because it is quite a hazardous one. However, if they do their training correctly they can potentially able to get this round out of the tube one way or another to allow them to continue their training or battle purpose. Now the video I'm about to show you is basically showing the techniques or the skills required to be able to deal with a misfire in the main gun. Now it's either going to come out one way or another. It's either going to get fired down the tube or it's going to get extracted from the breech and placed back into the loading rack. However there are certain procedures that must be followed to allow this to happen safely. So guys I'm going to let you guys watch the video. Hope you enjoy. Have a look at the way the uh, the systems work. I find it quite interesting the safety features that are put on this main gun uh, and they're quite similar to I'm sure many tanks worldwide. So I hope I hope you enjoy and I uh, hope you take away something from this. Enjoy. The commander begins the firing sequence. Gunner Sable moving tank. Ah! Identified. Fire and adjust. The gunner will announce on the way, then fire the main gun. On the way. Mid fire. If the gun fails to fire, he will announce misfire to alert the crew members. The gunner will immediately attempt to fire a second time using the manual firing device, also known as the blasting machine. If the gun fails to fire again, he will again inform the crew. All the way. After the first two misfires, the commander will check the circuit breakers. On the M1A1, the loader will check them. If they have to reset a circuit breaker, they will announce circuit breaker reset. After the first two misfires, the loader has two additional checks. First, you ensure the armed lamp on the loader's panel is illuminated. If the armed lamp is not illuminated, he will rearm the gun by moving the safe armed handle to safe, then back to armed, and announce up when the lamp illuminates. If the lamp still fails to illuminate, the loader's second check is to ensure the breech block is flush with the breech ring. He will move the safe armed handle to safe, run his hand across the top of the breech ring. If it does not align, breech! the loader will announce breech, install the breech block handle and push down to force the breech block up to align with the ring. Clear himself from the recoil path, then move the safe armed handle up to the armed position and announce up when the armed lamp illuminates. The gunner will keep the main gun aimed at the target and his palm switch is depressed. When the loader announces up, the gunner will attempt to fire for the third time using a trigger on his control handle. On the way. If it misfires, the gunner the will way. immediately try the manual firing fire. device. Upon the fourth misfire, he will move the gun select switch to trigger safe. If the round still fails to fire, the TC orders the loader to move the safe armed handle to the safe position and open the breech. The 
motor will open the breech halfway and allow it to slam shut. Clear himself from the recoil path and arm the gun and announce up when the lamp illuminates. The gunner will move the gun select switch to the main position and attempt to fire a fifth time by announcing on the way and pulling the trigger on his control handle. Upon misfiring, he will immediately attempt to fire a sixth time using the manual firing device. Upon misfire, the crew must wait 15 minutes before rotating or removing the round. The gunner will move the gun select switch to trigger safe. The loader will move the safe armed handle to the safe position, then remove the round and place it in the ammunition compartment. The crew will then conduct firing circuit and troubleshooting checks. So there you have it guys, how to deal with a misfire on the M1A1 Abrams. Now I have a huge respect for any crew member of any tank out there, but it definitely does take a lot of skill and courage to become both gunner and loader on a tank. Uh, they have to work integrally, obviously, together to make sure that gun's running very smoothly. Uh, of course the commander has to put his tidbit into to make sure that the system is working correctly, but ideally when it comes to something like this, to make sure that gun's working flawlessly, the loader and gunner really do have to communicate and maintain that gun very, very well. I'm sure as a loader, and I don't know personally from experience here, um, but for the M1A1 Abrams, I'm sure that a lot of experience is required in dealing with the firing control system, uh, for the firing circuits, the different uh, technical specifications that are required to maintain the gun is probably quite prominent. I'm, I'm sure there's a specific course or training that they must go through to be able to fault find. Uh, maybe that's specific to just mechanical trades that the US Army or US Marine Corps has for their tanks. I don't know. It would be interesting to hear. Um, if there's any loaders out on Abrams, I'd love to hear your input on this. If you do have a misfire, um, and as the video said at the end there, if they had to deal with the fault finding of the circuit breakers or, or the firing systems and such, what kind of uh, sort of procedures would you have to go through to continue dealing with that situation? Would you just call up your mechanics, like myself as the, as the Remy there? Or uh, would you, you know, f be able to do it yourselves? That's really interesting to me because it'd be nice to see, you know, if you were in a battle situation and you did continually start having misfires, fires, what would you do? I mean, clearly I can't really blame the ammunition all the time. It, it, never know, it may be the actual firing system itself. So it'd be interesting to hear um, from anyone who is a loader how that procedure goes down. You know, where do you go from next once the, the system is failing, you know, the firing system and such. Um, I would admit very, very honestly here that if I was a loader in a tank like that um, and the round had not gone down the tube after doing so many different procedures, I'd be pretty nervous taking that shell out of the breech and putting it back into the loading racks, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'd be closing that wine rack door rather quickly <laughs> um, once it's in there because uh, I would be extremely nervous of it going off. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, you know potential for it to, to not go off at all, but you never know, you never know, hey? So I hope you learned a little bit today, guys, and enjoyed the video. I thoroughly enjoyed learning a little bit about how this system works, and I hope none of you in the future who are going to be tankers have to deal with it. Guys, I really appreciate you stopping by today and watching. I could really appreciate it if you would stop onto my Patreon account, take a look, and if you wish to support my channel, leave a donation there. Other than that, please leave me a like and let me know in the comment section what you think of the video and the situation itself. You know, how do you how do you deal with misfires if you have been in that situation before? Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. All the best. Thanks for joining me again. Bye bye.